The divorce rate in America has dramatically increased since the pandemic started. And note that this only for divorce. This means combining with breakups from unmarried couples, the number will be even much higher. I make this video today, especially for people in a relationship. I want to share the big three lessons the pandemic has taught us about relationship. If you haven't realized and learned the lessons yourself yet, then you can can learn those lessons in this video as I have made it specially for you. So now let's check out the first lesson the pandemic has taught us about relationship. The first lesson is that you don't completely know everything about your partner. People can turn into an entirely different version of themselves when their emotions get triggered, especially fear. This pandemic has evoked so much fear in every single person on this planet. Fear of death, fear of losing jobs, fear of debt, fear of losing their loved ones, fear of lack of connection, and the list goes on. If we lack self-awareness and don't handle our fear well, our emotion could bring the worst out of us. Chances are, you and your partner feel worried, anxious, watching the news, stressed about money, and stuck at home. This pandemic comes as a test for your relationship. You get to see another version of your partner that you didn't know before. And also, your partner gets to see a different version of you when you're in your fearful state. You realize that you don't know your partner as much as you thought. Even though you have been with your partner for decades, five years, two years or one year, you don't completely know everything about your partner. Chances are this pandemic is the first time ever you and your partner have spent so much time with one another. You and your partner have learned so much about each other, more than those years you were together in the past. This extra time the pandemic has given to us could be too much to handle for some couples. You and your partner have more time to talk to each other than ever before. Some truth about your partner's past or your past get to be shared which could lead to the other person feeling uncomfortable, upset, shocked, or hurt. This extra time the pandemic has given to us turns out to be an opportunity for us to learn more about our partners. And of course, for our partners to learn more about us too. Life is full of surprises and so are our partners. So never assume that you know everything about your boyfriend, girlfriend, or spouse. Stay curious, stay open, and actively listen to your partner when he or she opens up and shares with you more about themselves. When you and your partner spend more and more time with one another, you and your partner will talk about things and inevitably disagree on certain things. Or one person says something or does something that hurts the other person's feelings. If conflicts happen over and over, you may feel overwhelmed. You may start to think that your partner doesn't understand or love you that much. You wonder if this is the right relationship for you. You, since you keep feeling hurt, disappointed, and angry at your partner. When this happens, if your why of getting into the relationship was not so strong, you and your partner are very likely to end the relationship. My question for you is, why did you choose to be with your partner in the first place? Is it because you want someone by your side? Or is it because you like the status of being in a relationship? Or is it because everyone is rushing you to get married and you don't want to disappoint your family? If any of these is your reason, then chances are your relationship won't be sustainable during this pandemic. However, if your reason is you want to build a meaningful relationship, you want to support your partner, or this is the partner that's the most compatible with you, then you are more likely to work through the hardships that you face in the relationship. 
These are stronger reasons and strong why to commit to someone. These reasons will lead to a strong relationship. Of course, it has to come from both sides, you and your partner. If your reason is strong, yet your partner's is not, then there's no guarantee that the relationship will be sustainable. Your relationship is worth fighting for, but you can't be the only one fighting. If your why and your partner's why are both strong, then you're in a relationship with a solid foundation. It's like a house. When the house has a strong foundation, it remains strong despite the storm, typhoon or any natural disasters. When you and your partner share the same strong reasons, you and your partner will walk through the conflicts, the inevitable challenges that any couples will go through, especially during this pandemic. If you have watched some relationship advice videos, you must be familiar with the advice about communication. Communication is key to a happy relationship. Many relationship experts have said this, and I'm here to confirm with you again that this is absolutely true. Any argument, anger, resentment, or hurt between you and your partner happens because of lack of communication, and they also get sold through communication. People get hurt in a relationship mainly because their partners have failed to meet their expectations. They have certain perceptions and images about their partners, and when their partners don't meet those expectations, they get hurt. It all comes down to that. Let me give you an example. Your partner loses their job because of the pandemic, and now you're the only source of income. You have been working long hours on the screen and expect your partner to make dinner. However, he or she has been playing video games all day long. Now you get frustrated angry and disappointed at your partner. You get hurt and feel like your partner does nothing for the relationship while you're hustling and doing everything for both of you. You expected your partner to help you out with the house chore. However, he or she has failed to meet the expectation. My advice to you is to communicate clearly with your partner about your expectation. Your relationship will suffer if you and your partner don't talk about each other's expectations. I made a video here where I teach you how to have an effective conversation about expectations so that you and your partner both will feel satisfied in the relationship. So make sure you check out that video. Keep in mind that communication here doesn't refer to only talking about expectations. It's really about everything. Share with your partner how you feel, what they do that bother you, what they could improve in meeting your needs, what you would like them to do and not to do in the relationship. Literally, communicate everything. Your partner's in a relationship with you because he or she wants to support you, especially to support you emotionally. So make sure you communicate your feelings and your needs clearly so that your partner can support you better and be a better partner for you. During this pandemic, what we need most are love and connection. And this is what your partner longs for too. If you study and master these three lessons, you will help yourself, your partner, and your relationship. Don't forget to share with your partner about these three lessons so that you both can improve and be a better partner for each other. I hope you find this video helpful and beneficial for your love life. If you like the video, then don't forget to give it a like and also share it with someone that could benefit from it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment below. Thank you for your attention. I hope you have a great day. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.